up on the mountain, went up on the mountain, looked down in the sea, looked down in the sea, thinking about the woman, thinking about the woman, the one we couldn't agree, we couldn't agree, but that's all right. This is Liz Hager. I created the Fires of Ignorance, especially for the Band and Recovered exhibit. The Fires of Ignorance was inspired by The Goblet of Fire, which was the fourth book in the Harry Potter series. Given its 2001 release date, copies of this book were most likely the ones burned by a small evangelical group in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in March 2001. It was the first of many such burning incidences around the United States. All are memorialized on the spine of the Fires of Ignorance book. The group took offense at the portrayal of witchcraft in the Harry Potter series. They were also proudly admitted to never having read The Goblet of Fire. In the case of the Harry Potter books, the bonfires have not dampened sales. To date, 400 million copies of the series have been sold worldwide. My piece, The Fires of Ignorance, plays with the alternate meanings of the verb recover, that is, to cover again, to regain possession of something, even to remove or extract, as say, from a fire. In order to call attention to the fragility of a cultural legacy dependent in part on artifacts so easily destroyed, I covered a library copy of the Goblet of Fire with a design made from matches and other materials from standard matchbook boxes, the striped pads and the words, keep away from children. Additionally, I used the illustration of Harry Potter from the original dust jacket to depict him peering out from inside a bunker, as if from under siege. I added special pages with quotes relating to burning books and censorship inside the original book. The recovered book rises triumphantly from the ashes of the burned books, which are also copies of The Goblet of Fire. The piece embodies the incendiary nature of the censorship debate, the need for constant vigilance in the face of ongoing challenges to the cultural legacy that books represent, and the hopeful triumph of books under all threats of censorship. Went up on the mountain, went up on the mountain, looked down in the sea, looked down in the sea, thinking about the woman, thinking about the woman, the one we couldn't agree, we couldn't agree, but that's all right, I don't worry. Be a better day. Oh, look at your people. Oh, people. I need a break. I need a break. Good thing will come. Good things will come. To those who wait. To those who wait. But that's all right. And I don't worry. Oh, that will be a better day. Yes, it will, Brownie. 